Yo, YouTube, what is good? It is Rob the God 92? No, it is Rob the God, just regular Rob the God, back with another sneaker review, and we're gonna get into it with this shoe that I've been looking at for a while now, more like a month, and it's the ASIC Jelly 3 Ronnie Feig Yoshino Rose. Let's get into it. All right, so I got the shoes in around two days ago. I only took them out of the shipping box because I wanted you guys to see my first reaction. So here they are. They still have the rubber band that was on them. And let's see what we got. And I've been looking really forward to these. There are like three of them in the whole pack. And this was the one that stood out the most to me, especially as the most wearable one. But without further ado, it's all wrapped up like a shoe burrito. Got all the greens and stuff. Low key, I'm speechless, like in a good way. Cause. Now on everything, just off the first glance, these are immaculate. All right, continuing where we left off, let me take out the other shoe. The box is low key fire. I've been saying low key a lot in this review, but here's the other shoe. And there we go. Now, before I get into the other details, they come with three extra pair of laces. You got red, blue, and peach. I'm actually looking forward to putting into putting the peach in. Putting the, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to putting the peach in first because they go more with the side lining on this. But yeah, let me go into more of the details of the shoe. And man, just just look at this. Like, if you don't know about ASICs, I'd say they're most, they're most comparable to New Balance. Like, people will look over most of the models, but there's certain models that hit, and ASICs always come with a certain degree and standard of quality to them. And they're super comfy, I have another pair of ASICs, so I can vouch for them in that favor. But yeah, just look at these. regards to copying these shoes on release feet. When I'm recording a video. But as I was saying, in regards to copying this on release day, it was a lot harder than it would usually be. Usually you would have kit retailers worldwide and also online, but due to the pandemic in the world, you would only have kit Tokyo and online. I was lucky enough to get a pair online, and so here I am. And in regards to Tokyo, these shoes were part of a three-way pack that were based on Tokyo in one way or another. These ones, the Yoshino Roses, were based off of Tokyo's Sakura Fountains, or Sakura shoes. The most obvious Tokyo detail would be the outsole on the bottom of the shoe. The colors on the outsole, red, white, and black, are in regards to the colors on Tokyo's flag. It's a clean yet subtle detail. Moving on from that, I'd like to talk about the shoe's overall shape. The shape on them are the closest that I've seen to the OG Gel Light 3 in a while. The curves on them are damn near perfect, the feeling on foot is great, and there's really nothing to complain about in this area, like they nailed it. Now let's get into my favorite parts of the shoes, which are the materials used, the colors used, and the overall details put into them. They use a wide range of quality materials including nubuck, suede, smooth leather by the toe, mesh, and a few others. I really like the choice of the materials and where they're placed as it really brings the shoe together and it shows the quality that's being put into it. I love the subtle but clean use of 3M on these shoes. It's not overbearing by any means, but when it hits, it hits. 
Now what I'm really impressed by are the color selection that Ronnie decided to go with with these shoes. Like sure, it's your regular beige, white, a little bit of dark green, and some peach, but it's the shade that really impressed me and how they all come together so well. So that's why it's such a wearable sneaker to me and I feel like they're gonna age really well down the line. One of my favorite parts of the shoe are the blue details. The little Asics in blue on the midsole is small, but it stands out for me. And even Ronnie's last name, which is Feig, embroidered onto the tongue in the Asics font is a great touch. He really knocked it out of the park with that. Now here we have the insoles. One says Asics, which is regular, but the other one, the right one, says Feig, which is once again Ronnie's last name. It's a nice touch and it really puts his stamp on it once again. The materials and colors used, especially the shades of the colors, alongside the attention to detail in the shoe, go to show that Ronnie has not lost his touch when it comes to Asics, and I love the shoe even more for that. All right, let's get into these laces now. As far as extra laces that come with the shoes, we have red, blue, and peach. Honestly, I feel like all three of the extra laces work on the shoe in their own different way. I feel like the red ones will make the bottom of the outsole pop a lot more, while I feel the blue ones will make the blue accents, the Feig logo, and the A6 logo on the midsole pop. But I feel like the peach one will work the best as the A6 logo matches perfectly with them, and that's the ones we're going to put in right now. I really prefer the peach laces in these as opposed to the regular white laces. I feel like they add a lot more to the shoe and bring some more character to them. But that's just my opinion and that's why everyone has options. You can go with blue, red, or whatever you want. Now let me give you guys another on foot look before giving you my final thoughts. All in all, I really love these shoes and Ronnie didn't miss a beat on these. I have nothing bad that I can say about them and I'm really glad I got a pair. Since it's not an out there or flashy pair of shoes, I feel like it'll pay more to its strength since it'll be less hype focused and more for the purest of the brand. A more if you know you know kind of shoe. But yeah, I love them and that's what I have to say about them. But thank you for watching the video so much and until next time, peace.